Hello viewers, I'm Rohit Khurana from Intellect Digest. Today I'm going to give you a detailed review of the Samsung Galaxy Chat. This phone is also known as the Samsung 5330. Let's start with the size of the phone. Talking about the physical form factor and size, you can see the phone is slightly thick. The thickness of this phone is 11.7 mm, which is not too thick. Uh, talking of the weight, it is around 112 grams. The display size is quite smaller than the overall phone size because there is a full size QWERTY keyboard here. The build quality and quality of material of the Samsung Galaxy Chat is quite decent I would say. It's not a very premium, it's not very bad either. The chrome bezel all around the phone gives it kind of a premium look. The screen size is also quite decent. The use of plastic is also good. The back is scratch resistant. The front has large display size as well as a QWERTY keyboard with which has a decent tactile feedback so I would say the QWERTY keypad is exceptionally good it has a dedicated chat on messenger key here uh, next to the space bar and you have symbol keys here you have number keys here so quite decent overall build is quite okay solid and won't feel very metallic though very plasticky but the build quality deem seems the very decent. The screen of this phone is 3 inches in diagonal and has a re display resolution of 320 by 240 pixels. The quality of display is decent. The video playback on the Samsung Galaxy Chat is also quite decent. Let me just stream a video from our official YouTube channel. We are giving the link on the top left hand side of this screen. So please check out the part 1 if you have not seen it. Uh, so as you can see the video quality is quite okay uh, as yeah. well as the sound uh, volume is also quite loud the speaker is placed at the rear so uh, the sound is not an issue the the video resolution on this device is not too pleasing but it's not too bad either talking of the camera of this phone the galaxy chat comes with a 2 megapixel camera which is without flash and the camera picture quality is just about average I have just clicked some pictures let me show you so the pictures start to pixelate quite easy let me click a photo for you so I just clicked a picture of the earphones of this phone and as you can see it starts to pixelate too soon so the quality of camera is quite average so if you are considering this phone for the camera performance I would not recommend this one also it does not have a front facing camera these are some sensors here so you cannot do a video chat using the front facing camera on this phone the call and signal quality on this phone is also quite decent I won't say it is one of the best in the segment but it's quite clear and loud as well as the signal quality is also quite good talking of the sound quality and the earphone quality that are supplied with the Samsung Galaxy chat you get these plastic earphones which are quite okay in quality and the microphone piece here comes with one single button with which you can pick up the calls hang up the calls as well as change the tracks as well as the radio stations the jack is a 3.5 mm standard jack so you can replace uh, these earphones with some other phones which you like to use the, talking of the sound quality I have used it with both the radio as well as the music player when you are using use music player with good quality mp3 tracks the sound quality is quite good and the bass levels are also quite pleasing but when you use it with the radio the bass levels are kind of less than expected talking of the buttons and physical uh, keyboard quality and the touch button quality uh, let us start with the buttons on the side on the left side you have volume rocker this is a physical key quite strong on the right hand side you have the power or wake up key and on the front just below the screen you have three touch buttons this is the menu button home button and back button and below that you have a full size QWERTY keypad the keypad is quite responsive and uh, the tactile feedback of the keys is quite good the touch buttons are also quite good and responsive so the buttons touch screen as well as the quality of all the uh, touch as well as the physical buttons is quite good on this phone since the display is not too large so the battery is also accordingly small in capacity it's 1200 mAh battery which gives a decent talk time of 
up to 14 hours on 2G network and up to 5 hours on 3G so these are the claim numbers but in the real life also the battery performance is quite good we have found that this device does not consume too much of battery since it runs uh, latest version of Android as well as the display brightness as well as quality and resolution is also not too high, uh, high end side so the battery life is quite decent on the phone this phone is powered by an 850 megahertz processor has 445 MB of RAM as you can see in the task manager which is quite decent talking of the memory user the total is 4 gigabytes out of which 2 gigabytes is used by the phone for the Android and as well as the OS and 2 GB is available to the user you can increase the memory by adding an SD card of up to 32 GB in capacity it let me run you through the software interface as well as the software version of this phone it is powered by the Android ICS or the ice cream sandwich or version 4.0 whereas the latest version is jelly bean 4.1 in some countries this phone gets the 4.1 update but we don't have the update with us so we are not too sure whether we get it or not but the Android ICS or the Android 4.0 is already pre-installed in this phone out of the box the Galaxy chat comes in white as well as black color and this phone comes in single sim option only as of now we are running an Antutu benchmark test on this device as per the benchmarking test the score on the Antutu version 3 is 4242 which is quite decent in this price segment this phone is priced at around 8000 rupees in India let me also show you the box contents that you get with this phone so this is the main phone unit the battery we have already installed inside apart from this you get in the box a set of earphones these are the 3.5 mm earphones which I have already shown you along with it you get a USB cable which is the normal USB to micro USB and you get a USB charger which is separate so this is the benefit that you get the charger as well as cable separate so you can charge the phone with the computer using the cable and you can plug this charger to the wall so whenever you need to charge it this is all which comes in the box so we have shown you all the details and various aspects let me summarize it for you this phone has a good build quality decent uh, performance in its size the screen size as well as the keyboard is quite good the camera is average I would say slightly below average the audio quality through the earphones is good on the mp3 tracks but average on the radio tracks the video playback is good the display is good the signal and uh, battery life is also quite good the price segment of this phone is around 8000 rupees in India which is also quite decent so if you are considering this phone this is a good buy in its budget segment the benchmarking scores are also quite uh, decent I would say if not too good this is all we have for you on the detailed review of the Samsung Galaxy Chat 5330 for more such videos do subscribe to our official YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button below and we hope you like this video please click the like button below thanks for watching this is Rohit Kurana signing off